As early as House of Frankenstein, Universal wanted to team up the mummy with its other classic monsters, but somehow it never worked out. So when it came time for Bud and Lou's final horror comedy, the Wait mummy a had to face them alone. Having someone who's a mummy you know, was their the last picture at Universal, class. actually, and is uh, is that really even one of the funniest because this Sally, one uses a lot of the stock and screens, but John Glenn did these wonderful, clever the the switches on the routines and uh, really made it fresh so again. By the 1950s, however, old-time burlesque was becoming less and less fashionable for the audience. Doesn't seem to you, Mrs. Uh, I think my father started um, to see that Miss the comedy Martin, was kind of funny for you. I would surprisingly um, there was a change of color, too. Uh, Maybe the idea of summer school got him to study more. To I don't the trend think there was, was nothing to be suspicious about. The well, the reason I'm being suspicious about is this is a little average before this quarter. As you can see, you never got into the grade on his test. The highest he's ever were, the test is a you know, 20 because he's always disrupting lessons, uh, skipping class, and not paying attention. So there's something like awfully wrong about this. So I think Caillou cheated on the test. I don't know how he, he did it, but all I know he cheated. Well, I don't think Caillou cheated. If you don't even know how, all I'm just saying is that we should just be glad that we finally passed and we should move on from this topic. No, all I know is that he's cheating. But I the think I have an idea. It's about die. the glasses. Because I feel of like I've seen the, the glasses before we have now to somewhere on TV or on YouTube ads. I mean, it's I timeless. Just it's can't universal remember, long after we're gone. Those aren't prescribed you know, glasses. there's going to be no. more small ones. If Caillou said chip. those aren't you know, prescribed and glasses, and you'll be able to watch it on your wristwatch or something in Avenue Five Cells. My boyfriend is an eye doctor. Just be proud of him. You're turning something really good to something really bad. You know what? I have a better idea. How about we watch the security? Security I mean, camera he footage before he but walked into my class on Monday. All I know is there's something fishy about the glasses, bring one of those because right now you're defending him, and I don't like it. Let's just watch the footage, right and we'll probably you know, have the answer to our argument. Fine, we'll yeah, watch it. it. But if you dare lie to me, you will be so fired up in this job, and we will also have Clementine watch to see if she knows anything about the glasses. Do you mean Diego Hollander? Abbott and Costello meet oh, Frankenstein oh, was our introduction to the world of Universal Studios Square. A habit hard to kick. So, in appreciation of Universal monsters, Abbott and Costello and that swing band era all came together. We take one last musical list of those boogie woogie boogie men.
class, before we begin our fun day, I just need to take care of something, first. Caillou, what happened to the glasses that you were wearing all week? Oh, that. Um, my doctor said that there was a mix-up on the test, and I did good, so I don't need the glasses anymore. Okay then, Caillou, come with me right now. Take a seat. Well, Caillou, I hope and you know why you are in my office, do you? Um, no. I have no idea why I'm in the office. First of all, I didn't do anything wrong. Secondly... Well, I am going to stop you right there, Caillou. Of course, you are in here because you did do something wrong. Do you know what... Um, I don't recall doing anything wrong. I mean, this week was pretty much finals week. Now, Caillou, don't play stupid with us. You did something wrong. If you dare lie to us, you will be expelled from this school and have to go to summer school. Here's an idea. Think about the glasses that you wore all week. Don't you dare lie to us. If you lie to us, you will go to summer school. <laughs> Just didn't want to fail. I did not do that. I wanted to go to Disney so bad. I'm so sorry. Please don't call me my dad. Now that Ms. and Delicious breakfast that Doris made, now I'm going to go moan the lawn because if I don't Doris will nag me too. My phone is ringing. I probably need to take it. Hello, this is Boris Anderson. Who is this? Hello Boris, this is your son's principal, Miss Clementine. With great shock, I need to tell you this, but as my job as principal, it is my job to inform you about your son's behavior. So your son, Caillou, has been expelled from school and will have to attend summer courses because he cheated and he 